हेलो फ्रेंड्स माइग्रेन हैज बिकम अ सिनोनिम ऑफ स्ट्रेसफुल लाइफ स्टाइल मेनी पीपल पर्टिकुलरली ऑफ अर्बन एरिया सफर फ्रॉम माइग्रेन समटाइम्स इट इज इजी टू कंफ्यूज माइग्रेन विथ वर्क रिलेटेड हेडेक्स वन मे ऑफन फील दैट दिस इज टायर्डनेस एंड विल गो अवे आफ्टर सम रेस्ट हाउ एवर माइग्रेन कैन हैव मेनी कॉम्प्लिकेशन एंड इट्स ट्रीटमेंट इज नेसेसरी फॉर मेंटेनिंग हेल्थी लाइफ so today we are going to discuss about migraine and its effective homeopathic remedies disclaimer this video contains information on homeopathic remedy the purpose of creating this video is to spread information and knowledge about this remedy we strongly discourage any self consumption of medicine without a qualified doctor's consultation welcome to another video by visual designers myself dr dimple dalal So let's begin with our discussion on migraine. Migraine is a syndrome of episodic recurrent headache varied in intensity, frequency and duration. Let's now see what are the causes of migraine. Though migraine causes are not fully understood, genetics and environmental factors appear to play a role. Factors that make one more prone to suffer from migraine includes first family history. If you have a family member with migraine then you have a good chance of developing them too. Second is age. Migraines can begin at any age though the first often occurs during adolescence. Migraines tend to peak during your 30s and gradually become less severe and less frequent in the following decades. Next is gender. Women are three times more likely to have migraines another factor is hormonal changes for women who have migraines headache might begin just before or shortly after onset of menstruation migraines generally improve after menopause there are a number of triggers for migraine so let us see what are those triggers migraine triggers include first is drinks Drinks like alcohol especially wine and too much caffeine such as coffee can trigger migraine. Another is stress. Stress at work or at home can cause migraine. Another trigger is sensory stimuli. Bright lights and sun glare can induce migraines as can loud sounds. Strong smells including perfumes paint thinners second hand smoke and others trigger migraine in some people fourth trigger is sleep changes missing sleep getting too much sleep or jet lag can trigger migraines in some people fifth is physical factors intense physical exertion including sexual activity might provoke migraines sixth is weather changes a change of weather or barometric pressure can promote a migraine Seventh is medication. Oral contraceptives and vasodilators such as nitroglycerin can aggravate migraines. Eighth trigger is foods. Expired cheeses, salty and processed foods might trigger migraines. So might skipping meals or fasting. Ninth trigger is food additives. These include the sweetener aspartam and the preservative monosodium glutamate found in many foods. And the last one is the hormonal changes in women. Fluctuations in estrogen such as before or during menstrual period, pregnancy and menopause seem to trigger headaches in many women. Now, moving forward to symptoms of migraine. The clinical presentation of migraine varies from patient to patient. and even in same patient from time to time the typical attack of migraine consists of sequence of events which can progress through four stages prodrome aura attack and postrome not everyone who has migraine goes through all the stages so let's discuss this phases in short first is prodrome phase It starts one or two days before a migraine. One might notice subtle changes that warn of an upcoming migraine like constipation, mood changes from depression to euphoria, food cravings, neck stiffness, 
इंक्रीज थर्स्ट एंड यूरिनेशन फ्रीक्वेंट यॉनिंग एट्सेट्रा सेकेंड इज दी और फेज फॉर सम पीपल और माइट अकर बिफोर और ड्यूरिंग माइग्रेन्स दे आर यूजली विजुअल्स बट कैन ऑल्सो इंक्लूड अदर डिस्टर्बेंसेस ईच सिम्टम यूजली बिगिन्स ग्रेजुअली बिल्ड अप ओवर सेवरल मिनिट्स एंड लास्ट फॉर ट्वेंटी टू सिक्सटी मिनिट्स एग्जाम्पल ऑफ माइग्रेन और इंक्लूड्स विजुअल फेनामिना सच एज सींग वेरियस शेप्स ब्राइट स्पॉट्स और फ्लैशेस ऑफ लाइट विजन लॉस देन पींस एंड नीडल सेंसेशन इन एन आर्म और लेग वीकनेस और नमनेस इन द फेस और वन साइड ऑफ द बॉडी डिफिकल्टी इन स्पीकिंग हियरिंग नॉइसिस और म्यूजिक अनकंट्रोलेबल जर्किंग और अदर मूवमेंट्स एक्सेट्रा Now the third phase that is the attack phase a migraine usually lasts from 4 to 72 hours if untreated how often migraines occur varies from person to person migraine might occur rarely or strike several times a month during a migraine one might have pain usually on one side of the head but often on both sides then pain that throbs and pulses people describe migraine pain as pulsating throbbing perforating pounding and debilitating then there is sensitivity to light sound and sometimes smell and touch then patient may have nausea and vomiting also now comes the last phase that is the post drome phase after a migraine attack one might feel drained confused and washed out for up to a day some people may complain of depressed feeling after the headache sudden head movement might bring on the pain again briefly let's now discuss about the most effective homeopathic remedies for migraine first is belladonna whenever there is headache due to exposure to cold or heat of sun we can think of belladonna as the remedy patient experiences right sided headache there is sensation as if brain were pushed through the forehead sensation of stabbing as by knife from one temple to other patient has a throbbing pain in the head along with the headache patient may complain of redness of eyes with burning and great intolerance of light double vision and dim vision there is aggravation from slightest motion noise light touch leaning forward bending backward and lying down and amelioration by tight bandage and during menses second is glonine whenever there is headache due to heat of sun or headache during pregnancy glonine can be the remedy of choice patient feels his head enormously large with sensation as if head would burst there is throbbing pulsating type of pain in the head patient holds the head with both the hands there is aggravation by stooping lying down and sun rays and amelioration by bending head backwards and from covering third is natrum mur when patient complains of headache due to exposure to sun or eye strain we may think of natrum mur patient experiences pain in left side clavus there is sensation as if thousand little hammers were knocking on the brain patient explains pain as bursting type of headache patient may complain of blindness before headache or zigzag vision patient have an anemic look there is aggravation from heat of sun and from sunrise to sunset and amelioration by perspiration and open air fourth is naxvamika This is useful in patients complaining of headache due to coffee, tobacco, alcohol, irregular diet, overeating, long continued mental exertion or loss of sleep. There is sensation as if head would burst. Patient complains of congestive headache with heaviness and pressure in the head. Along with the headache, patient may experience vertigo with obstruction of sight, dizziness, and humming in ears nausea and vomiting 
there is aggravation in morning by loss of sleep touch and noise and amelioration by vomiting warm room from sitting quiet and lying down in a dark room fifth is sanguine area when there is right sided headache which begins in occiput spreads upwards and settles over the right eye we can think of sanguine area there is sensation as if head would burst or as if eye would be burst out patient complains of periodic sick headache every 7th day along with headache patient may experience neuralgia of face headache begins in the morning increases during day and lasts until evening there is a malration by sleep and perfectly lying quiet in dark room sixth is pygelia when the headache is beneath the frontal eminence and temples extending to eyes especially on left side spygelia can be the choice of remedy there is sensation as if there is band around head patient complains of violent throbbing pain in head along with headache patient may have pain in and around the eyes there is aggravation by motion noise touch and while turning the eyes and amelioration by lying on right side with head high there are many other remedies for migraine in homeopathy but here we have discussed only some of the commonly used remedies constitutional remedies can also be very effective if the problem of migraine has been prolonged that is the chronic stage has come you can know about popular homeopathic constitutional remedies by clicking here so this is all about migraine if you have found value in this video please don't forget to like and share it with others if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do so now please provide your valuable feedback thanks for watching bye Thank you.